Shalom. Previously I had done a teaching on the first 10 generations and I found some more interesting information and so this is a little update to that teaching. At that time we had looked at the uh, first 10 generations as they're listed in Chronicles and we made a little sentence about it and other people have uh, teachings on this and you can go back and look at the one I did or look at anybody else's. The original disclaimer said that uh, I had not developed this teaching, but I had heard it from Chuck Missler, and I'd been talking to some other people who's, who were trying to figure out, well, where had they first heard it? Um, was it an older teaching? But we didn't really have any other information on it besides the Missler information. So recently, I've been uh, looking at some older books, and I actually found a very uh, similar, almost exactly the same teaching in a book that was published in the 1800s. The name of this book is Mazaroth, or The Constellations. It's by Francis Rolston. It was published in 1862 in London. And the entire book is online, and here is the website. So since the book is dealing actually about the constellations of the zodiac and you know how they relate to things biblically, uh, we find that they've added two extra names so that they could come up with 12, but as you look at the translations for the first 10, you will recognize the teaching uh, that uh, has been done previously. So in this publication, uh, we see that Adam is translated as the likeness of God, Shet is appointed, Enosh is for suffering, Canaan is purchasing a possession, Mahalalel is uh, translated as shining forth, and uh, that, that's a valid interpretation of that verb. Um, Yared, coming down. Chanoch, dedicated. Metushalach, his death sets free. Lamech uh, is interpreted as being smitten. And Noach is giving rest, and then I believe they they add Shem and Arpachshad, so they can have twelve to parallel the ideas of the zodiac. Anyway, uh, 1862, way before Chuck Missler and me. I believe we have a lot to learn. We continue to look into God's word. There's just so much depth to it. Uh, while you're studying. Tasimata inayim al Hashemayim, keep your eye on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.